So this is a long exposure photograph taken with my iPhone using the Lightroom mobile app by turning on a setting that I never even knew existed. So in this video I'm going to use Lightroom to go through the editing steps on this long exposure picture. But for quite some time now I've really enjoyed taking photographs with my iPhone and using the live option to create a long exposure. This works fine but it does crop in on your photograph quite a bit and it can sometimes blur things that were actually still. Now the photographs I take with my iPhone I generally edit them in the Lightroom mobile app which is brilliant because it's pretty much got everything that's available in both Lightroom CC and Lightroom Classic. But what I didn't know about though was these kind of hidden settings. You see ordinarily when you take a photograph with the Lightroom mobile camera you get these options automatic, professional and high dynamic range. But check this out. If you go to the top right hand corner of the screen here you get access to the app settings. Down at the bottom there's an option called technology previews. If you tap on that this is where you get to use some of the new stuff that Adobe are working on and at the time of recording this video there are two technologies available. Long exposure and depth capture. Now the depth capture is what you would need to turn on so that you can use the depth range in the masking which is always greyed out. Or you can take photographs with your iPhone in portrait mode and that means you can use it too. Now I think these settings are only available at the moment for iOS. So if you're an iPhone user, certainly a newer model, then you should be good to go. But if you don't see them, let me know and let me know what platform you're using as well. So if you do see the option for the long exposure, tap to turn it on and underneath you can see it says enable to see it in the camera app. So now when we go to the camera, tap to open the menu next to the shutter button and you'll see long exposure. So then it's just a case of taking a picture. Now I popped down to Lyme Regis in Dorset which is very near to where we live. The day before there'd been one heck of a storm with high winds and waves that were even breaching the cob wall. It was so exciting being there but it was really difficult to take any photographs. But the next day, as is usually the case after a storm, the weather was superb. So Anna and me popped down there again. Now when taking the photographs with the long exposure setting turned on, the camera takes a series of photographs very quickly and blends them together and after a couple of seconds or so you can see the result. You don't have to press anything to turn the photograph into a long exposure like you do using the iPhone app. Now I also took some photographs using the built-in iPhone app but the Lightroom mobile version I find to be way better. With the built-in iPhone live setting you can see how it blurred out the two people even though they were pretty much stood still but the Lightroom mobile camera didn't do that. Now because I took the photographs with the Lightroom mobile app, I could now just dive into Lightroom mobile and edit them or just dive into Lightroom CC and edit them there because the two sync between each other. Okay, so in Lightroom then I'll start by removing this fella here who just popped his head up at the wrong moment. I'll use the new Content Aware Remove tool and just brush over the area I want to remove so the Content Aware can fill it in. If it doesn't do a great job first time, you can just keep on clicking on refresh or the forward slash key on your keyboard. You can also hold down the command key on Mac or control key on Windows and drag out an area to tell Lightroom to use that instead. I'll get rid of this though and just brush over, then maybe just refresh it. Yep, happy with that. Next, the image needs straightening because we can see it's leaning over a little bit. So I'll go to the crop tool and click on auto and then press enter or return. Now I'm going to make this a black and white and there's a preset I made called sunny day at Lime. So I'll click on that. The great thing about presets is that they give you a starting point and we can then adjust all of the settings to get it exactly how we want. So I'll reduce the clarity because that just looks a little bit too much for me on this image. And I also want to even up the sky. It looks a bit uneven being dark in the top left. So I'll go to the vignette first of all and remove that. And then I'll go to the color section and the blue and aqua sliders. You can see how by doing that, it directly affects the sky. 
I'll bring out a bit of detail in the clouds by creating a new mask and choosing a brush and then just increasing the clarity for that area just a little. And then finally, I'll add a vignette to darken down the areas at the bottom of the, of the image. So I'll create a new mask and choose Radial Gradient. I'll drag that out and then invert it and reduce the exposure a little. Then I'll click on Subtract and remove the gradient from the top parts of the image using a brush. I might just add a little bit of grain in there too. But yeah, I reckon that's pretty much done. So if I go to Versions, here's Before and After, Before and After. So yeah, I am really excited about all this mobile phone photography and where it's all going. I mean, the jump I've gone from my iPhone 11 to the iPhone 14 Pro Max just blows me away. I've only had it for a few days, but I've got friends with different brands of cameras who are also producing just fantastic photos and videos. Actually, on that note, I got myself this uh, cage of the day by a company called Small Rig, and this is for putting the actual phone into there, and I've got some handles for the side so I can use it for video so it's nice and stable. But also I've put these Arca Swiss plates on the side and on the bottom there so that I can actually have the phone attached into my normal tripod. So that'll be really interesting to see because with that long exposure setting in the Lightroom mobile app, you've got a button you can press to say whether you're doing them handheld or if you're using a tripod. So it'd be really interesting to see how that goes. But yeah, very, very exciting times. But that's all I've got for this video. So as always, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, click on subscribe because it's just a great free way that you can support this channel. But that's all for now. That's me. I'm done. I'll see you in the next video.